Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm here to tell you about the email accounts interface. To send and receive email, you need an email account. cPanel makes it easy to set up and manage email accounts. If you would like to see how to manage existing email accounts, we demonstrate that process in another video. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's scroll down to the email group and then click the email accounts icon. The email accounts interface will appear. Right now, the only account that appears in the table is the default email account. This is the account that receives email when the sender didn't route it to a mailbox that exists. First, we need to create a few new email accounts. Click the Create button, and the Create an Email Account interface appears. If you manage more than one domain, select the appropriate domain for this email account. I'm making this email address on example.com. If your domain doesn't appear on the list, you can check the subdomains and aliases on the account with these two links on the side. But we'll go over those interfaces in another video. In the Username text box, enter the email address that you wish to create. I'm going to create an email account for someone named User. For account security, you can either set a password or send a link to another email account for the user to set their own password. First, let me show you how to set a password for the account. Enter a password in the password text box. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of the password that you entered. Oh, what did you type in there? Click the eyeball button to reveal the password. Oh my god, you can see my password. I'm going to hide it again. You can also click Generate to have the system generate a strong password for you. It looks like Qbert having a nervous breakdown, doesn't it? Click the down arrow to configure some other options for the generated password. Minimum password length, uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Now, I'll show you how to send a link to another email account for the user to set their own password. Select the Provide Alternative Email option. Enter an email address in the Alternate Email text box. This will send a link to an email address. The user can click that link and set their own password. Now, let's set storage space for the account. This is how much mail and attachments that the mailbox can store. You can enter a number and set the units of measurement. Megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, that's a lot of cat videos. Or you can select unlimited. Do you want to send a welcome email with mail client configuration instructions? Well, select the checkbox. This will make it easier for the new user to access their mail. They can log into their account via webmail to get their setup information. If you want to create another account, select this Stay on this page after I click Create checkbox. Finally, click Create Account to create the email account. A success message will appear. The account has been created. If you would like to see how to manage existing email accounts, we demonstrate that process in another video. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com. Or follow us on Twitter. Our username there is at cPanel. Let us know if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching and enjoy.